Hey email geeks, today we're talking about what email personalization is and isn't. The first thing a lot of marketers think of when they hear personalization is putting the recipient's first name in the subject line or the copy of an email. Showing you know your subscribers' names doesn't mean you know them, any more than reading someone's name off a name tag at a convention means you're best friends. So what is personalization then? There isn't one way to define or create personalization, but the result should give each subscriber the feeling that the email they received was individually crafted for them. Email personalization could be dynamic content that swaps out elements of imagery, copy, links, or more, all based on the subscriber. Or you might try to segment your emails, sending email one to one part of your audience while email two goes out to another part. To personalize effectively, you need to have good data on your subscribers, and you need to analyze that data to determine what kind of message will resonate with different types of subscribers. How and why you personalize will depend heavily on your business type, specific objectives for your email channel, and the nature of your subscriber base. You can get started by asking yourself some questions. Does the email I'm sending make sense for my entire subscriber base, or is it relevant only to a subset? If the email is appropriate for the entire base, is there a section or a call to action that can be personalized? Are there any segments of my subscriber base not currently receiving relevant messaging? Do I have any customer data that I can use to inform more customized messaging? Are there specific emails that are performing very well or very poorly with certain segments of my subscriber base? If so, what can I learn from these messages? In the end, personalization is about making sure the right message gets to the right people, rather than trying to get a predetermined message out to as many people as possible. Personalization is an investment in time and resources, but it is an investment that can bring better results in all email marketing metrics, and maybe it can change the way your subscribers think about your emails. Do you have any tips on how to personalize emails? Share them with us at Email on Acid on social media. And for more email marketing insights, right in your inbox, subscribe to our newsletter at emailonacid.com.